In this video, we're gonna go over how to set up gift cards on your WooCommerce store. You can set up gift cards to sell gift card amounts for $10 or $25 or really any amount that you wanna sell them for and your customers will be able to purchase them on your WooCommerce store. They will be able to, they could send to themselves or send to someone else and they also could schedule to send the gift card to someone else at a specific date. So that's what we're going to go over today. But first, if you're new here, make sure to click that like, click that subscribe, and all the links can be found in the description box below. Okay, let's jump into it. So I'm gonna go to this Charlie's Coffee site, and right now, I'm just gonna go over, like no edits to this video, how I would set up gift cards right now. So the first step I need to do is I need to go new product, and I'm just gonna create a gift card for $25. So that's gonna be the first thing I do. I'm gonna make this a virtual product as well. So it's gonna be a simple product and then it's gonna be virtual since it doesn't need to be shipped. And then it's gonna be $25. And then I'm gonna set this product image as $25. Awesome, so I'm gonna publish this gift card. And as I see here, I have a gift card, but when I go through the checkout process, I don't see a way to you know, send the gift card to someone else. So how do we do that? Well, we're gonna need the WooCommerce Smart Coupons plugin. And with that, I'm gonna go back to my dashboard. I'm gonna go to Plugins, Add New, and I'm gonna upload the WooCommerce Smart Coupons plugin. And after installing the plugin, I'm going to activate the plugin. Awesome. So right here, I'm gonna click this Settings, and I'm gonna go to the Settings of the WooCommerce Smart Coupons plugin. And it also can be found in the WooCommerce Settings Smart Coupons and I'm just gonna go over the settings that are necessary to get this set up as soon as possible. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna go to the store credit slash gift certificate and I'm just gonna add this as gift card. It's just renaming everything as gift cards. And then I'm gonna update this to balance. And then I'm gonna allow sending of coupons to others. And then I wanna allow scheduling sending of coupons so you can see like you can send you know now or at a different date when i'm sending it to someone else so maybe it's you know my niece or nephew's birthday at a specific day this year and i want to deliver it on that specific day okay so i'm going to save changes and this combined email setting really only pertains to if you have someone that's buying like six or five or multiple you know, gift cards in one order. And let's say they're buying like two $25 gift cards for one person. Do you want to send them separate emails? Do you want to combine them? I'd always recommend to combine them because some people might think it's a duplicate, but they'll still be able to redeem them. So it's really all personal preference. Okay, so I'm gonna save my changes. And now if I come back to this gift card product for $25 that I set up, I need to tie the coupon to it. So that's when I go back to my WordPress dashboard and I go to marketing coupons and I'm going to add another coupon for gift card 25 and I'm going to make this the discount type as gift card. I'm going to change the coupon amount to $25 and I don't need to do any more settings because my coupon's not got or my coupon for the gift card is not going to expire or it's not valid for this. It's, it's always going to be valid because it's a gift card. And I don't want to do any prefix before the coupon code. I don't want to add like coffee or something before the, the prefix. It doesn't, it's not necessary. So I'm just going to publish this and then I'm going to come back to my gift card product for $25. And then I'm going to add right here, gift card 25. And I'm going to update this. So now if I come back to my gift card product, I can add this to my cart and I can go through the checkout. And I want to send this to someone else and I'm going to deliver it now. There's this, the date to do it later and I could like choose a specific date and time if I wanted to, um, to deliver. But for now, I'm not going to deliver it at a later date. I want to deliver it now and I'm going to send this to my friend Kevin. Awesome. So now I'm going to place an order with this gift card or for this gift card. And I sent it to my friend Kevin. And if I quickly check Kevin's account or if I go to the email, Kevin's gonna get an email that looks just like this, that he's received a gift card and he'll have this code 
to be able to use for his gift card. Awesome. So I can, if I go back to my WordPress dashboard and I'm just gonna go to Kevin's user real quick. So I'm gonna go to the customer and I'm gonna use, I'm using the user switching plugin, which I'll put in the links in the description below. But remember I sent it to test to at sgwebpartners.com. So this is Kevin, my friend that I sent it to. And if I switch to his customer, I can see that he has this gift card right here. So if he goes and tries to purchase something, let's say he wants to get like medium roast, you know, he can easily apply this. He also can apply this just by adding this code. Like let's say he has this code, he wants to, you know, apply it somewhere else. You know, he could open up like an incognito window or something and he could purchase, you know, something that he wants to with this coupon with, or with this gift card. So I see that the, the gift card's been applied, but how do I also set up a gift card for any amount? Well, I'm gonna go back to my WordPress dashboard. And first I'm gonna use this switchback because I just was imitating being Kevin. And if I switch back to this dashboard, I'm gonna create a new product. I'm just gonna call this gift card any amount. I'm gonna make this a virtual product and I'm not gonna set a regular price or sales price and I'm gonna update this product image like this and I'm gonna publish the product. So when I viewed this product, it's gonna be the same thing, right? It's not gonna have any amount. So I need to go back to my WordPress dashboard, go to marketing coupons, right? And I'm gonna add a new coupon just called gift card any. And I'm gonna set this as a gift card, as a discount type. I'm gonna keep the coupon amount at zero. And then I'm gonna put this coupon value same as product price. And after doing that, I'm gonna publish this. And then I'm once again gonna come back to my site. I'm gonna find this any amount product. And now I'm gonna tie this any, gift card any right here tie this to the gift card. So now if a customer wants to add in any amount, they could, so they can add in like $250 or, you know, let's say they want to do like $30. So they could easily add $30 and then they can be able to send this gift card to someone or someone else and they could do the same process. Another thing I want to cover is how could I possibly do a variable product. So I have like these two products right here and I like to do this to separate up Charlie's coffee. And if I resort these real quick, you know, I could resort them to be, you know, at the bottom of my shop page or put them in a whole separate category as well. So I resort them. And what if I wanted to do like a variable product that I just have one gift card product with a bunch of different options, like 10, 25, 100, et cetera. So with that, I'm gonna create a new product. And I'm just gonna call this gift card again. And I'm gonna update this to as a variable product. And I'm gonna click attributes. And I'm gonna add an attribute called gift card amount. And I'm gonna do, you know, 10, 25, 50, 100. And I'm gonna say use for variations. And now I can create variations from all attributes. And I'm gonna add, you know, the, the prices for each and the photo for each. So $10, you know, you can add SKUs if you want. All these will be virtual products. And awesome, everything looks good. And I'm also gonna set a product image as just gift card. So this is what we'll show in the shop page. And I'm gonna publish this gift card product. So now if I view this product, I can see that it has different options and the gift cards change on each option, right? But what about the coupon that's being assigned to it? So if I come back here, I'm just gonna create another coupon just called like 
coffee gifts. And I'm gonna do this as a gift card and I'm gonna keep the coupon amount at zero and I'm once again gonna be coupon value same as the product price. So in reality, you know, I don't even know if I need to use this coupon, but if you wanted to separate them out, that's what you could do because we also have this coupon called the Goof gift card any. So we could use the gift card any instead of just adding this new coffee gifts, gifts coup, coupon. So we can just ignore this. This is a mistake I made. But if you wanted to create separate coupons just to see what specific product page they were tied to, I don't know. So we're just gonna scrap adding this coffee gifts coupon and we're just gonna use this gift card any coupon. And remember, this coupon allowed us to put the coupon value same as the product price. So I'm just gonna copy this gift card any, and now if I go back here and I edit this product, I can select it and I can update this. Awesome, so now I can see like if I go to 50, updates for 50, 100, and so forth. And I can go through the checkout process. So your customers will always be emailed the gift card they can use. And it also, if they have an account, will be on their My Account page. And you also can always look up what their coupon is based on the one that was auto-generated auto during the checkout process. So for example, I'm gonna buy this gift card for $100 that I just created. And I'm just gonna gift this to someone else. Awesome, so let's say I purchased this and that test person um, will, will get the, the, the gift card that they can use. And also I can check what gift card was in this order by just going to WooCommerce orders. And I can click this order and I can see right here, right? This is the coupon it generated. And I can click more details, sender, receiver, message, enjoy. And it's right here for me to see. So this was the coupon that was auto-generated. We probably don't need to um, look at this in detail, but if you, you shouldn't really edit, ever edit an uh, auto-generated coupon, especially if it, it was there to create a gift card. But if you just wanted to test this to see what was going on, you can see that the only allowed emails is test5 at sgwebpartners.com. So you could disable the email restriction if someone's maybe using a different email or whatnot. So I made this order and now I want to go over how someone would redeem their gift card. So if I come back to my email as sending to test5 at sgwebpartners.com, I can see that I received a coupon for a gift card and I can update this text in my emails if I wanted to easily by going to WooCommerce settings, emails, and coming down here and updating the text here in these tabs to gift card. Well, that's it for today, guys. If you guys got value out of this video, click the like, hit the subscribe, and all the links can be found in the description box below and comment what tutorial you wanna see next or if you have any questions about how to set up gift cards with WooCommerce Smart Coupons. Awesome, have a great rest of your day. Peace.